When people think of search and rescue, they typically think we're going out and trying to find somebody that's lost in the woods. Yeah, it's actually not that. It's completely not that. No, ours is specialized. Urban Search and Rescue is a specialty. We got about 100 qualified and trained personnel. We serve all of California. We've had multiple deployments over the last few years, Mendocino mudslides, as well as the Paradise Fire, we were deployed on that. The program consists of trench rescue, somebody's digging a ditch, some type of a hole that collapses and we gotta go in there and uh, we gotta dig them out. Shoring is uh, structural stuff. A vehicle runs into a house or a building and it's structurally unsafe. We'll set up wood that will uh, stabilize the building. Find space rescue, we have swift water. We also have high angle rescues. Yeah, I, th I certainly think urban's a, just a misnomer because of how diverse our county is. You know, we've got the mountain areas to desert areas. We're out at the river, and you know, we've got mines and things out in uh, Twin and Palms and Yucca Valley, and so we have various types of rescues. No calls are ever the same. The technical portion of USAR, we have stuff for every single thing. And some of this equipment is just amazing. We can't even put all of our equipment in one apparatus. That's why we have, you know, four of them. We got the Type 1 rig, and this goes out everywhere. None of this will go without, without our USAR rig. This is our Type 1 heavy rescue. These are just big toolboxes, jackhammers, rotohammers, larger circular saws and chainsaws, Arizona Vortex, search cameras, listening devices. We certainly try and maximize our space. There's about eight compartments at the top. And so it keeps going over the side, rescue equipment. And then we also have the cut trailer with the wood. A cut trailer is just that it has wood and we cut it. Any type of structural collapse, the explosions, earthquakes, if there's somebody in their rescue, we have to make sure it's safe before we go in because we don't want to become a victim ourselves. This one gets called out more. This, this one does get called out more. This is our uh, jump bag trailer. If we have someone that's threatening to commit suicide, harm themselves, jump off an overpass. We have two airbags that are deployed. Yeah, this is a huge specialized event. And this actually happens more often than you think about it. So it's a great tool. So we have a designated swift water utility that directly goes to any water rescue from reservoirs to rivers to streams, whatever they fall in. That actually happens more often than you think. We have different types of suits, ice rescue, dry suits. There's a lot to it. We're all at risk. There's so many facets of the fire department. It's not just fires. It's life safety, anything. And we just we figure it out or we have a specialty for it. Uh, I'm Captain Jeremy Hansen. My name is Craig Line. Uh, stationed at 72 in Fontana. And I'm proud to serve you. And I'm proud to serve you. Thank you.